guys. I've got a new project I'm working on. And uh, it's going to be a knife. And I'm making it out of this stainless steel. This is some uh, scrap stainless steel that I had left over from when I made this table that you're looking at right here. Um, so, I'm not sure exactly what the components of this stainless is, but I do know that it's much harder than mild steel just from me drilling this table. Um, so, whatever it is, it's a fairly good stainless steel. I know that it it does, it, or it is uh, capable of rusting some because I've seen some rust on some of the stainless. So that just lets me know that there is some iron in it, I guess. Uh, so anyway, I feel like this will be a pretty good steel to make a, uh, a knife out of. So, what I'm going to do is just trace around a design that would look pretty cool. And then I'm going to cut it out with my grinder and my... Uh, my well my angle grinder and then I'll shape it from there so what I'm going to do first is just draw the overall shape of the knife and uh, what I'm going to do is make a hunting knife a skinning knife okay so what I've done is I'm just kind of laying out what I want the knife to look like and I don't know if you can see those or not but there are lines on there and all I've done is basically is just found some different objects in the shop that are round and I've just drawn lines uh, using those I even used some sockets uh, to make some round areas to curves and um, we're going to see what it turns out like but, uh, just starting from okay, basically all I have is a bunch of lines on here now I'm going to Try to make some kind of meaning out of all of these little fine lines by using this black marker. So I'm just going to kind of trace around like this. Let's see. Maybe something like that. Okay, what I'll do now is cut that out. Okay, I've just been cutting on this with my uh, angle grinder that you see in the background there. And uh, as I'm cutting, I'm just making sure that this will fit my hand. And uh, I believe that'll be all right. So, just going to finish cutting out the little knife. And uh, just testing for fit as I go. Okay, just uh, grinding away using my cutting wheel and my grinder, making sure that it fits my hand, and uh, basically come up with that design. So, I'm about to finish it off, cut that off, and then I'll uh, shape my blade. But, uh, Pretty comfortable design right there. Like that. Okay, I got the knife cut out. Uh, now I'm just going to fine tune it. Okay, I've got a little more grinding to it using my uh, hand grinder over there. And now I'm going to take it inside to my uh, stationary grinder. Do a little polishing and sharpening on it.
this knife. Uh, got it pretty good, nice and smooth. Um, what I'm going to do now is sharpen it. I'm just going to do that manually using my uh, sharpening stone. Okay, I'm putting my first uh, edge on here uh, using one of these little things. And this sharpener has two cross members in there that will give it its uh, rough shape. Now, it has its shape that it's supposed to have. You can see little metal filings back here where, uh, where it has shaped this blade uh, to the point where it's good for sharpening. And it's already sharp. Uh, I'm going to do this just a little bit more. is uh, flip this over and then on this side is some uh, ceramic sharpening stones. Okay, uh, the knife is now complete and I was thinking about putting a uh, handle on here, but I've chosen not to. This is this feels fine. This fits my hand great. Uh, I can't think of a reason to put a, a handle on there because uh, this is going to be fine. It sharpened up nicely. It's not the best metal in the world, I'm sure. But it's 100% stainless steel, it's not going to rust. This would be great to throw into your uh, tackle box or put into uh, the door of your truck. Uh, put in your toolbox even. Anyway, at least you'll have a uh, knife whenever you need it. And uh, it shouldn't be rusted. So it took about two hours to build this little knife. Had a good time doing it. So, and I'm sure there's other different designs you can come up with on your own uh, for whatever it is, whatever purpose you want to have your knife for. But uh, I basically have this for hunting and fishing. And I can uh, throw this in my tackle box, forget about it, and I know that it'll be there next time I go fishing. I could clean fish with it. I could even clean a deer with it. Uh, just whatever. So, I hope this gives you some ideas uh, when you go to make your project. Okay, I finished sharpening my knife. I've got it really sharp. Um, it'll easily shave. I don't know if you can see that, but <laughs> shave very easy. Maybe you can see this better. This is just a piece of paper. And Well, that didn't work out like I wanted to, but bad boy sharp. So, it took me a couple hours to make this, and uh, about 30 minutes sharpening until I got it like I wanted. 
So if you wanted a knife to throw around, one didn't care if you lost or not, you could uh, put this in your toolbox, not have to worry about it. You can make one. Just get you a little piece of stainless steel scrap. Cut it out with your grinder. Get to sharpening. Done.